say it again. What's custody like for me? Well, let me rephrase that. How has custody been all the years that I have had my son? Because now, as you know, he has graduated. So I get a chance to tell you all all of these experiences because he has a chance to be his own man. That makes me a successful dad. I have been able to watch it every step of the way. Okay. So what's custody like? To me, custody is very, very, very challenging. So before you think about going to get custody, you need to ask yourself, are you ready for this? That's what the investigator asked me when I went and first filed for custody. She said, you need to ask yourself, are you ready for this? I said, that's my little one. Came out of me. Yes, I'm ready. She was like, uh, you need to do a DNA test. I said, nah, because I know what I did. I had them because I needed somebody to love. I feel like I ain't had nobody to love. I felt alone, so I had them. Matter of fact, so I had all my kids. Because I felt like I needed someone to love. Not because it come popped. Because it bust. Shout out to Trojan. Trojan, man! But you know, not because it popped or anything like that. Um, it's because I didn't work on it at the time. And I made that decision like, oh, oh, so wrong. But it led me into situations of lusting instead of loving. So with that being said, I ended up having to file for custody because you can't always say that the one that you're in a situation with is going to be the one that you're in a situation with forever. The challenging part is when you go to file for custody, I'm saying my situation, something that I experienced, and something that actually came out of some people's mouths. Man, you file for custody? You a threat? Man, you file for custody? You weak as hell. Why you take your kid from that girl? Now you file for custody. Ah, that's lying. He filed for custody. Hmm. It's crazy how I heard all of that on the negative side. But now y'all asking me questions. Hmm. If that's what made me lame for taking care of my kid, then what I owe? Because one thing I can tell you is having me custody. It's gonna change you. It's gonna change you because everybody around you are changing. You have to get better. When you talk about really getting right, you gotta know how to blend in, be a chameleon in a lot of situations. If you still got whatever type of people you hang around, you're not gonna be able to do certain activities that they do because it's always somebody watching. That is a whole different ball game. That's almost like being on house arrest without having to call and check in. But now that we have social media, we have, you know, things that you may post a picture on, or you have a phone in your hand, you have a camera to where motherfucker can record you, then, of course, you may be in court for some modifications. But as long as you got your stuff together, you maintain whatever you want your custody battle off of. If you know how to maintain that, then it's going to be hard to fight the situation. If you have a defense that if you ever sent to court for a modification, if you have a defense to go against, then you always make sure you keep that in your back pocket. My custody is good. It's been great. It's been great because the strangers, it's like the strangers, they be like, wow, you a black man with custody? You sure that's your son? I'd be like, hey, no, 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 that's your, no, that's my son. He came out the right nut. Could have been the left, but, you know, it's my right leader first. So, you know, um, custody has its pros and cons, ups and downs. One thing that I didn't want to do was get custody and have to get assistance because 
I looked at it like it was natural for a woman, according to society, to get the distance. But when it comes for a man, if you go fight for custody, then you got to be on your toes. You got to make sure that you got everything done because in the world, people look at the men like we're the heroes. But in actuality, we fall weak sometimes. And then I'm just being real. A lot of y'all don't want to admit it, but that's why I have successful dads because this is not a place where you have to be macho. This is a place full of emotions. This is a place full of motivation and inspiration. It's all about how you take it and perceive it. Now, if you want to file for custody and you don't have nothing going on for yourself, then I won't even be playing with them people wasting my time. If you go with that, oh, she unfit, or, oh, uh, she not doing nothing, don't waste your time. Like, if you want one of those type of people, don't waste your time. Because you're going to lose. I'm going to say allegedly, though, because you might win, depending on where you at. Now, the pros of having custody with me is, I'm able to talk about this. Who's going to try me? You can try me, but I got a lot, a lot to say, so you better make sure you become it. You on point. I don't care who you are. And that's just being real. The next thing is, one of the cons of having custody is you're going to lose a lot of people. You're going to lose a lot of people. And it's because that is an accomplishment. That is like something that most men ain't, ain't, ain't they, they, oh, they let me go and they gone. You hear me? So, in actuality, make sure you are cool with who you decide to, you know, play with your mashed potatoes. You know, you may want to put some little gravy in the mashed potatoes. The white gravy in the mashed potatoes. Make sure uh, you're watching who's doing that because you may be left in a situation where you may have to be a single mom and the other party may be gone. But, you know, some people out here play too. If you're a person that play on either side, it's not wrong with letting the other party know that. I mean, if both of y'all play, then y'all can work together. This is hey man, hey man. It's as easy as you want to make it be, or you just got the bubble guts where you feel like, oh man, if I tell that person that, what they gonna say? Mm. Nah. So look, I know for a fact I didn't put too much out there about custody because I plan on giving it to you as a member. Because we talking this much, right? So, you will become a member of Successful Dads. Meaning, the membership. You know, Smiley Fee. Speaking of Smiley Fee, if you want to donate and support so we can keep putting this content out, it's a heart at the bottom in this video, in the description. Not the like button with the thumbs up. Not the dislike button with the thumbs down, but the heart with the dollar sign in it. You know, if you want to support it, you can click on it. Pull your debit card out, you know, get in a financial situation. Um with YouTube by saying, hey, I want to buy this sticker, I want to leave this on his page, um, the $1.99 or the $49.99, <laughs> you dig, I ain't going to say you dig though, but you feel just having fun, man, but anyway, pro and cons of custody, um, you also may have to file certain documents before even filing for custody, depending on which state you're in. In my state, I know for a fact you have to file for legitimation first before you file for custody. That's going to be a whole nother video, so make sure you subscribe. If you saw this video, the legitimation is going to be coming out soon. Thank you.